Right. Right. It's time. It's time. <clears throat> very, very kind. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Japanese... Um, do it by the act. Okay. Yeah, Japanese... Um, Japanese companies are mostly all right with copyright, but they have their moments. They're mostly fine, but they have exceptions. Yeah, I'd say, like, America's the hardest. Um, England next. Most European stuff is after that. Scandinavian. Scandinavian countries are the only countries that follow the real copyright rules and actually allow free use of content. Hence, copyright reactions. Uh, reaction content is protected under the Fair Use Act and therefore is the um, ownership of the copyright, ownership of the reactionist. So basically what I'm saying is under copyright law and fa the Fair Use Act, my content should be under my ownership. No one should be able to claim it as a reaction content as long as it is transformative content, falls under the guidelines, which they always do. I react to a three minute song, it's 15 minutes long, it's paused, regularly cut up and chopped in the smallest part of the video. It follows all the, all the rules, right? The Scandinavian countries are the only countries I know that follow those rules every other country in the world doesn't the scandinavian countries are literally like that's the law we'll follow the law um so yeah <clears throat> i mass upload those because they were all re-gloss members ah, i see i see i see okay it's good well fair enough so yeah and then uh and but i say asia are very good india's very good um so yeah but yeah the scandinavians Legends. If any anyone watches this from any of the Scandinavian countries, just know it's absolute pleasure to work with the Scandinavian countries. They're very very cool when it comes to their videos. Um, like they'll even allow me to make money. That's how awesome they are, um, which is the the true, which is how it should be. Um, but yeah, but no, uh, but no, Japan, Korea, um, very um, very usually very good with copyright. There's a few exceptions, but mostly very very good. Very Would you like to know more? Um, I would say nine times out of ten more so with K-pop stuff. I've never had any issues with any K-pop reactions. So, and then, um, but then even countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, wonderful as well. So yeah. Anyway, Scandinavian countries don't even have fair use. I'm a Finn, and we certainly don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but they're very, very awesome out there. All right. Let's do it. Doki Doki time. Can you guys hear? It all right. Volume good. We all good with the volume. <clears throat> Let's do it then. Let's pick up where we left off. Mm, so I'm going to keep playing this game how I've been playing it. I'm just going to pick the ones I like and not try and target any character, okay? Right. Let's let's go then. Um, Bunny. Bouncy. Bouncy. When I pick their name and they jump, is that me saying I'm like picking one that's nicer for that girl? I've always wondered that. Um, bubbles, big fan of the word bubbles. Pleasure, yeah. Cage, <sighs> giggle. Boom. 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 I can Boom. get behind a cage. I'm gonna go cage. Um, ambience, lovely word. Always love ambient. Peaceful, nice word. Loud smile. Cheeks, yeah. <laughs> Swimsuit. Ooh, kawaii kiss. Oh, should we go quite forward with it? Fickle. I think it's swimsuit. Swimsuit. Lust. Yes. Um, secretive. No. Inferno. Passion. There is no passion. Uh, what am I looking? How long are we waiting? Have, how long have we been streaming? Uh, 40 minutes now, actually. Crazy. Crazy how time flies. But we've still got a long way ahead of us. Candy. Nature. Nature's a good one. Entropy? Entropy? Lipstick. Nature. Aura, such a nice word. Oh, so good. Essence, that's a nice word as well. Comfort. No, essence is a nice word. It just feels nice saying. Say it right now if you're watching the stream. Essence. Yeah, nice, nice. Nod your head when you say it. Essence. Oh, it's nice. Essence. Um, sunset. Feather. Extraordinary play. Existence. Misfortune. Frightening in a graveyard. These are all awful. Frightening or graveyard. Graveyard. Massacre. No. Anime. Horror. Ah. I got a big horror, man. It's got to be. Bed. Melody. Whirlwind. Valentine. Happiness. Rain cloud. Suicide. Vivid. Dance. Amazing. Vertigo. That's a cool word. Vertigo. Socks. Yes. 
Didn't even see what the other words were, but socks are good. Hello, Amsin. Judgment, hope, scars, fantasy, whisper. Ooh, like the chocolate bar. Whisper could be good. What the fuck is this? Vivacious. Never heard of that word. What the hell is this word? You like horror more than anime? I mean, if you guys know me, horror is my baby. Horror, I mean, you guys see the shelf behind me? Horror is my baby. Um, I'm watching horror movies for as long as I can remember. First movie I ever remember uh, renting, like getting rented for me, was Final Destination 2 and The Ring. All right. I don't know what this word is, but I, it looks cool. Um, climax. Awesome. Oh, no. I mean, it's got to be awesome. You guys know it's one of my favorite words. Awesome. All right, <clears throat> reading time. <clears throat> Wait a second. Anyone else noticing something? I've, guys, I thought there was only three characters, huh? I'm noticing something big time. I'm noticing something. I see something. God damn, that was so fucked up, man. I'm not even joking. I thought about that for like three days after I finished streaming. What f fucked up. Oh. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Luke. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Why? Well, I wonder why. Nasuki is reading manga at her desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Well, she slowly begins to unbuckle my belt. <laughs> About yesterday. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't actually mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Nasuki as well. Yuri? I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there was no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Luke? Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh, sorry, what, what am I saying now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh... Yuri is clearly taken back by how calmly Nasuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, Nasuki, about yesterday. I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of those things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Dot, 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 dot. When Asuki said it. Ah. But, uh, I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, 
No, not at all. I don't hate you. Aha! Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Hmm? Nasuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Huh? Suddenly the door swings open, and in walks John Cena! Ba -da -da -da! Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nasuki was. I was not! <laughs> what took you Would so you long like anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just looked track of time. Wait, haven't we heard this before? Aha! <clears throat> what on earth are you expecting this poor Brit to do? What, did you guys want me to do their voices? I'm not doing their voices. I'm just, I'll read it in my voice and I'll just do different tones. That makes no sense though. I, you know, most of the time it's going to be the same tone. <laughs> You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's, uh... Monica looks at me. Undressing me with her eyes. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? She winks at me. In that case, I won't let you down, Luke. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuki has already run off into the closet. Luke. Huh? Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. Don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Are you saying if I did them voices, what would they sound like? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Well, I guess I need to make sure Nasuki isn't waiting for me. After all, we finished reading yesterday. She... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Ah, uh, in that case, I don't see any problem with it. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah... Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry. <laughs> God, I was going to make such a joke. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. It's an erotica. What's the story about, anyway? Well, um... I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Or Portrait of Markov. Uh, there's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And people are trapped there and have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing, fixating, affixing, affixing them to. God, it sounds like the fucking story for the forest. Okawaii mm. koto. Ah, that, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, but anyway, I'm really into it. I, I would read the shit out of this book. Sounds like a good book. The book, I mean, not the thing about the limbs. No, of course, not that thing. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Luke? I'm just saying. Nine times out of ten, any guy is approached by a woman that looks like Yuri, and you're young and impressionable, and she says you're not a fan of this. Most most young guys are saying they're a fan of whatever the fuck she's talking about. Are you not a fan of limbs being chopped up and sewn on other bodies? I fucking love it! I love it. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. I, You know what? It's funny you mentioned that. Just the other day, I was talking to my friends about how much we fucking love 
uh, books about chop chopping people's limbs off and stuff. We, ah, oh, man, it's the best. Can't get enough of that stuff. That is so good. It's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Where can I buy this book? It's just that kind of story. It's kind of, kind of challenges you to look at the, you know, look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just to someone, not when horrible things happen. Blah blah blah. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Okay. Then What the fuck? Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. What did she say? Did I? Did anyone catch the end of that? She just said my whole body, and then and then did it? Can, did, it did I miss? I want. I kind of want to go back. Did anyone catch that? I can press history. Does history take me back? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Scroll. I'm fucking scrolling. What do you mean? You want to go all the way back to the top? There's nothing here. Ugh, chat, I hate you sometimes. Thanks, thanks, guys. You fucking assholes. <laughs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry I've ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, um... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> I'm just imagining this going on like a complete tangent where like the girl is just super hot and the guy is just a guy and the girl is just like doing the worst shit ever and the guy's like ah she's just passionate about like science and stuff you know she wants to be a forensic scientist when she's older that's why she's just murdering all these people you know she's just really passionate about science I don't know why people have got such a fucking issue with it Jesus Christ she's just passionate look at her so passionate over there God damn, look at her. So passionate. <laughs> the least I can do is listen. It is a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get start reading, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book. I had to put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. God damn, my guy is, a, is Riz King. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in the company with someone else. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but... It kind of feels somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of your body. What the fuck? Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry, I knew that was coming. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her finger. Ah. 
I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after reading it and flips it to the side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. Oh, she's fucking looking at me! I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? She's smiling now. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Fucking hell, man. Whew! <laughs> it's kind of weird for me, man. I've been out of the game for like 10 plus years. I've been with my wife for fucking nearly, t yeah, nearly 10 years now. Um... Fucking hell, yeah, 10 years next year I've, I, I've known my wife for. Wow. Um, so reading like this is, is interesting for me. <laughs> it's interesting, man. Woo, taking me back. Teenage Luke. Um, it's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Heh. <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and, and all that. Uh, that's why... That's that's what you're talking about? S sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get to that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Aha! Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... Am I breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest, as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Luke, did something happen just now? Ah, <sighs> resist the urge to make inappropriate jokes. Resist. <laughs> eh? I have no idea. Yuri is acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? I can. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. It was only a finger. Jesus, Monica, get off my back. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> Aha, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a little while, so I figured we just get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. Twice. <laughs> I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Alright. Nasuki! Nasuki. Hmm? Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. 
Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Very Dr. Seuss, isn't it? Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. And the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. <clears throat> not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an arrogant jerk. Ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of and think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone? And it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two girls in this very club, who I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks? But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Alright. <clears throat> Hi again, Luke. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I want to share what I what what want to share what you wrote for today. Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Hmm. Okay. Great job, Luke. I was going ah oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to write something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> Goddamn game, Luke, sounding more like real Luke. That way, it counts when I put some effort in. That's why I don't tell you guys anything, all the behind-the-scenes stuff. I just let you guys wonder. Because then when I drop an interview with fucking BTS or flipping TK, you guys will be like, holy moly, or a dog. <laughs> that's why. <clears throat> Aha, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. I had a feeling the second one was going to be more Yuri, but that was the options it gave me. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like that it's a bad thing, though. Sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming up a little strongly. Put it this way, I always say this, think about when you were in school, think about the most beautiful girls in your school, and think about how terrified most guys are to talk to those girls. And then think about the fact that most guys feel the same as you, meaning that all these really beautiful girls probably don't get approached by many guys, probably don't get much interaction, and are probably not that close to a lot of girls because girls are pissed that guys like them. It's true, by the way. You'd be if anyone if anyone's still in like college, university, high school, whatever, watching this, the easiest, the best advice I can ever give you, you will be surprised how many times you try and talk to a beautiful woman. They are more than happy and excited and thrilled to chat to you. Trust my advice. Is you may be nervous, you may you may have a huge crush. Just try talking to your crush like a normal human being. Like you would any one of your friends. Just go and have a conversation with them. An unra unromantic conversation. And you'll be mega surprised by the results. Trust me. She's really starved for social attention, so don't blame her. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. 
Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm, s I'm sorry for being late. When do we write poems, though? Don't write poems! Don't write poems! <laughs> Trust me, poems bad idea. Uh, it is, we, we don't live in a, in a romance movie, alright? You're, you're not fucking Ryan Gosling from The Notebook or whoever was in that movie. Was it Channing Tatum? One of those guys. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. <clears throat> Save me, the colors they won't, bright. A letter's missing. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. <laughs> the noise it won't stop. Violent, grating, fervorums. Skuz King Screeching Piss. Sin Causing Tangent. Like playing and ch go board. On Atten Runtable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Nuns PM of M. Delete her. I. Delete who? We we looked in the game files, right? <clears throat> beautiful poem, by the way. Beautiful poem. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, uh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? I mean, you can hear me. And anything? Thanks for listening. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Luke, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. I'm hoping more than once today. <laughs> Even her hands appear sweaty. Um, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued. Fuck it, we'll go for Yuri this time. Why not? Fuck it. We went Nasuki last time. I do think we should end up with Nasuki though. Um, it's so amazing to feel like I'm valued. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. I, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Luke? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning on... Turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox. Falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, true controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God. Swimming with open waters in all directions, drowning. A Prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, ex I don't know this word, exponential? exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a tip.
ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing will. Ha ha! It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take some time out on your pen. Um, that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday. Does she mean my penis? Um, she meant to add an IS to that one, right? Um, so I took it home for safekeeping and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. God damn it, she's going to sacrifice me when we go around hers, isn't she? Um, I hold shift W! Thank you so much for the seven-month resub. Appreciate you. Love the reactions, man. Keep it up. Also, do you plan on reacting to Mashuko Tensei opening and ending for season two? Have I not done that? Mashuko Tensei? I, w I will do that, my friend. Thank you very much for the resub, by the way. I will do it. I'm okay. Um, <clears throat> we're going to need some water when we get our next break. <clears throat> your penis was in your backpack? Where do you carry yours? In your pocket? Well, if you sit down, you squish it. <clears throat> what did I just write? What did I, what did I just... Um, yeah, I just unravel it and put it in a backpack. <clears throat> it's still connected, of course. What did I just... Um, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond a deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water, figuring out which way was up. I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Weird fucking weird, man, weird. <clears throat> okay, I'll wait. I'll wait, TKD Widow. I'll wait. Um, hello, Obscure. Um, okay, everyone. Hold on, let's do it in Monica's real voice. Okay, everyone. It's me, fucking Satan. We're all done for free. This is why I swear, Monica. Monica, right now, I swear, she's that fucking like, and fire. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come and sit at the front of the class. Is this about the festival? Well... Is that actually a crackling noise? What the fuck is that? Sort of. Wait, is that sound someone eating? Is... Is, um... <clears throat> is Yuri under the desk? God damn, Yuri, very forward of you. All right, well, <laughs> um, we did say we hoped it wouldn't be the only time she fucking... Um, I'm not <laughs> do we really have to do something with the festival? It's not like we can put anything together good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Everyone assuming... <laughs> well, Miss Gore, <laughs> well, well. Wait, what happened there at the end? Did Yuri just pop up? Did I miss something? Chat, did I miss something or did I not miss something? Did it just go to black from, from that? Chat, did, did Yuri like pop up? I saw Yuri on the right. Who popped up at the right and did they say anything? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Yes or no?
Serious question, did I miss anything? Fuck you, did I miss anything? Yeah, I saw Yuri pop up, but I didn't see her say anything. <clears throat> oh! I see. I see. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Luke joined, you horny girls, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the, oh yeah. and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We've already enough to con be considered a club. <laughs> More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Obscure! I have no idea who you're talking about, Obscure. What are you on about? You're crazy. Thank you for the 10 bits. <clears throat> Nasuki. I don't know. I'm just saying if we if, if we could get like... I would be... Depending on what the members look like, I, I may be alright with it. We'd have to... I would personally have to vet the members first, though. Um, Nasuki. I don't think you're looking at, at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. Now, Luke, take out your... <laughs> I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Unlike Luke over here, am I? <laughs> Fuck, she said, right, Luke. Right, Luke? Um. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Luke. It's fine, trust me, it's fine. Um, to agree with you, just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You never even talked until Luke joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Luke isn't even that passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Nasuki's work. Fucking hell, Nasuki! Oh yeah, the music. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Luke want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Nasuki's right, isn't she? This club, if it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out... Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we aren't against getting new members or anything. Luke, why did you even join this club? When you hoping? What were you hoping to get out of it? Hopefully a four-way, but you know, I don't, I don't know anymore. I mean, I don't know, Yuri might be down. Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? <laughs> I literally just said the guy's thoughts. In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Nasuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be hey, honest? Hey, hey, hey. It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't many other places like that for me and now monica wants to take it away from me she's not taking anything away no luke it's not the same i won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it if i wanted that then i could have just joined any other stupid club but this one i mean at least for a little bit of time things were nice and so he starts packing up her things i'm going home i feel like i, I don't belong here right now 
Asuki. Asuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Yuri really... I think Yuri just... I honestly think Yuri just either wants to sacrifice me or, or bang me. Maybe both? As long as one comes before the other. <laughs> I'm saying, one way is very disappointing. Um, I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm, I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What the fuck? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the right decisions right for the club. But what about you, Lou? What do you want to get out of this club? She says, unbutted. He repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members we have, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while... So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can talk to Nasuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Luke? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Luke before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Uh, Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the the two of you tomorrow. Welcome fucking to Monica, man, with that Back cock block out of nowhere. We were going right for the goal, and big fucking hand Monica just put bang, bang it right away. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. Monica waves at Yuri as she exits the classroom. Whew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Uh, just in yes. Or just in yes. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, legend. I would really hate to see you. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> She's going down. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. Oh, music. And I really do care about you, you know. Does Monica want to... Does Monica want to do the deed? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Trust me, it's been very hard today. <clears throat> With how mean Nasuki is and everything. Nasuki's fine. And Yuri being a little bit... You know, <laughs> sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all of the time you've been here, we've hardly gone to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No. What the fuck is going on? Ah, I do like bubbles. But we are... I have, to, I have to make a decision here. Do we want to go for Yuri? This playthrough. Would you like to know more? 
feel like maybe we do. Because if we do, it's going to be quite easy, right? I'll make, I'll, um, uh, embrace, explode, right, if this keeps going on any longer, <laughs> passion, what the fuck was that, what was that, There was a head. There was a head. Wait, what the fuck is the numbers? All right, let's go. All right, let's get fucking. What the fuck? Look, there's a fucking head. There's a fucking. <laughs> there's a head. Fuck you, chat. I see it. I see that I see ahead. Hi, Luke. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my my best teeth t today. Monica, I told you not to. <sighs> Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Nasuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. And then she got like short term memory loss or something. <clears throat> I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking yesterday and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. And I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know that this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So. Masuki. Nobody cares! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? This sounds like a step around stuck kind of situation. I, w I will come with you! Uh. Wait, did she actually say that? Ah, oh, I didn't even see the background. Did she actually say that? Wait. She did! She actually did! It's here! It's fucking here! Ah, <clears throat> oh, man, I'm the last one here again! Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! Piano! You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make it in time for piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess, I guess a passion? It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Luke, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could, we already have plans today. Ugh. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Luke is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I suppose. I was just... <clears throat> oh, <no. coughs> I've mentioned the poster, you fucking creeps. I've seen it. <clears throat> oh, man, we're just having some water. <clears throat> I don't remember you mentioning the poster. Uh, yeah, well I did. I did. You thirsty, Luke? Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I have indeed. Mm. Ah. 
Ah, <sighs> he did it earlier the first time it came up. No, no, I did. I, I, yeah, I did. I did a second ago. <clears throat> um, it's, yeah, it's the second time it's happened. Um, yeah, Monica's really going for it, isn't she? Not Monica. Uh, Yuri's really going for it as well. Fucking hell, Yuri wants it. I feel like Monica does as well. Maybe you know, Monica feels like she's being left out. Actually, it, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, uh, uh, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I... Is she going to drug me? Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. What colour is the ribbon on the poster, Luke? What are you talking about? Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll get some water. She walks past me, sets the kettle down on the This is suspiciously long-winded. I set the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moved really contrasts her speaking and mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand. Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. There's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ah! Ah! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Ugh. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ah! Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. I don't have any way of going back. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It was way too quick. All right, hold on. It was so quick. All right, hold on. Let me just find it on YouTube. Uh, Doki Doki. Yuri. Hallway. Scene. Alright, I'm care I'm being very careful with spoilers. Very careful with spoilers. Ah, I I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it. Don't worry, I haven't I don't worry. I've got don't worry, I've got tactics, don't worry, I see it. I managed to get the scene. I've got the picture. I think I got it. Done. Jesus fucking Christ. Damn. Yeah, don't worry. 
I have this weird technique. I close one eye and I can tunnel vision. And uh, it's something I've used for ages when like I had to like search for uh, back in the day when it was really difficult to find certain episodes of TV shows. Uh, I had to figure out this technique. There we go. <clears throat> cool. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. It's awesome. <clears throat> done it. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Luke, do you like Olong tea? Yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Don't worry, Phil Knight. I found it, don't worry. <coughs> uh -huh. Chat, I would never risk spoiling anything, don't worry. Uh, in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Wait, what? I told you, I was right. Of course, I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert at tea or anything. Uh, in that case, you should be more impressed. Okay. Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. I don't get it. What I don't get is that... What I don't get is that if I'm making her happy, why is she doing those things? Unless those things make her happy as well? Seems odd. <clears throat> I thought she was maybe doing something else. I thought we were gonna walk around the corner and she was doing something else. That was my suspicion. I was very wrong. <coughs> very wrong. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting you show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway. She's, she is very forceful when you consider how she shut down everyone else in the class to spend time with me. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Luke. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know how I keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Luke, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. I'm going to bend you. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regular. I wonder why, <laughs> so I do my best to manage it. Is, th is, is that so? I wonder why. <laughs> this guy's me. Fuck me, what's going on, man? What is going on? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. It's most likely be because my, um, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over while reading. Yeah, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, and I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since you're going nice with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I, I can handle. You, your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only assume that the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to react a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, so sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. 
You sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah! Oh my god, am I going to feed her? Fuck me, no way. <laughs> ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> my bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Ah, you missed such an opportunity, bro. Nah, I'm way smoother than this dude. This dude sucks. Yuri opens... How do you think I got married? <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time of reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in, in, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take... Oh my god, bro! I, then I take another chocolate and hold it... At this point, I'm convinced this dude's me. And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips. As if this situation of <laughs> Rizard of Oz indeed. This guy, this guy is smooth. This guy is smooth. God damn. Damn. Um, she simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively put the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Luke? S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Music. <clears throat> Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I can't, Luke. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup is knocked over. Luke. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Luke. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Luke? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me, w even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Hello, Lark. We should have gone with Nasuki. With we're in trouble. Is that supposed to be her breathing? Uh, <clears throat> From the start, <laughs> jokes on you, I'm into that. Uh, you're brave. Um, this would be a... Uh, this would be a... Uh, this is, I, I, I believe what they, I believe it's pronounced. Now, let me know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, because it is a very complicated, uh, complicated thing to say. Um, deal breaker. This is a deal breaker. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. A night with someone like this may, may be incredible. But it also may be the last night you spend living on this planet. <laughs> so, I'm just going to say, if you play with fire, you get burned. Simple. Green flags all the way, baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, she has eyes for you, Luke. Look, all right. I need to play in Mexico. You, I'm not even joking. Right now in this situation, the window on the right, that's my exit. I'm like, that window looks nice. And I'm gone. Um, Sion, uh, first playthrough. It is. Nasuki was my... Um, was my number one choice from the start. I like Nasuki. I think we have very good chemistry with Nasuki. I think if I was going to pick one of the girls, it would be Nasuki. Um, although our neighbor, who no longer exists, would have been a really good choice as well. But I think Nasuki matches our energy perfectly, especially with the manga and stuff. Like, our likes match with hers. But for fun, we're pursuing Yuri. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be a rough ride from the start. And, uh, it seems I'm not wrong. Um... It's time to share our poems. Poems. 
Alright. We always go top down. I kind of want to go to Yuri. We're going to go to Yuri. <laughs> Finally. Um, Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Luke, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> you, you're too nice to me, Luke. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could, I could die. Not really. But, um... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's it's not it's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I take it back, we should marry Yuri. <laughs> I don't want to read this next bit. <laughs> Alright, I take it back. <clears throat> this is where you this is where you get down on one knee and you pull the ring up. <clears throat> For fuck's sake. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'm not reading that in any kind of Yuri voice. I'll give... I. This is where you, you put the ring back. Take it off her finger. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha! Fuck me! Look at her eyes, bro. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, we're so gonna get killed. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Fucking hell, I was gonna say the same thing to you later, Yuri. Hurry, read it. <clears throat> I'm gonna right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now. Is there any way we can actually read this, or like, should I try, or is it just gibberish bollocks? Because some things look like words. Not without YouTube's help. So there is actually a way you can read it. If you read it out loud, it summons an, an ancient being. Yes, but you're not meant to. Okay. Music's good. Do you like it? I... Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. So aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, for fuck's sake. Watch Game Fury's video, okay. What was that supposed to be? What was that supposed to be? Someone send me a link. I want a link. 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 I want a link. Someone send me a link in chat. One of the mods, give me a link. What the fuck did I miss? What was that supposed to be? Don't. Nothing. Keep going, look at things after. Can I not check it out? Am I not allowed to? Am I not allowed to see this clip? Chat, you've played the game before. I haven't. I don't know anything. Am I not allowed to see that picture? Because I've got a skid sent it to me. It's just a glitchy VFX. Is it not important then? It's just a jump scare. It's just a glitch, nothing missed. There really isn't anything to see. Pick is fine, actually. You can see it's fine, you can. It's nothing, just really glitchy stuff. It's not important. It's not, so it's just like a nothing picture. <clears throat> okay, so it's, it's just a nothing picture. It's just a glitchy picture that's supposed to jump scare you. Okay, cool. All right, all right, fine. Okay. Cool, thank you. 
and she looks insane still. I I think I'm gonna vomit. What? Nasuki, please fucking save me, please. You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is it with you two? Oh my god, we shouldn't have gone to we shouldn't have gone to Yuri first. <laughs> no! Nasuki! I wanna just make cupcakes with you again. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. <laughs> what is it with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you don't even think to show it to me at all. Ah! Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not, not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive, things like that. Okay, this really is embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting it, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try and do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thank you. Nasuki, we should... Nasuki, I, I picked Nasuki from day one. And I stand by it. Nasuki is the one we marry. Yuri is the one we have a great fling with. Nasuki, we marry after, okay? Oh, no. And Nasuki did. I... Hold on. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's just Yuri's fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Luke? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. Beep boop beep boop boop boop. What the fuck? Monica! I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. What, Yuri pissing on her fucking poem and giving it to me? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I have to explain it to you. So I think you keep a distance would probably be the best thing for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. You naughty, naughty, naughty. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should at least have the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. But whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem. So I hope that it's effective. Here goes. I must take over the world. <laughs> Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess it's kind of messed up uh, uh, writing this poem. I was trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Yes? I thought that was going to be one of those fucking games. Okay, everyone. What happens if you click no? Time to figure out the festival preparations.
Let's hurry up and get this over with. Straightening air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Huh? Stagnating air, I mean. Why is everyone saying ooh? Oh. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Masuki, you can make the cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. I feel very sorry for Nasuki. Yuri, you can... Well, it, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry even without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations and set them up for a nice mood and lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Luke? Luke is going to help me. Wait, you... You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Nasuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Luke around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why don't we just let Luke decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Luke make the choice, okay? Okay, fine! Fine! Jeez. Luke, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nasuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Right. Right. <clears throat> I'm fairly confident. I am so fucking confident that I am supposed to pick Monica. I am 100% certain that at this point, I am supposed to pick Monica. Right? So confident. But I'm going to pick Yuri. No! It won't let me pick Yuri! <laughs> what is it doing? Monica! No! No! I so wanted to see what happens if we... <laughs> I so wanted to see what happens. I wanted to see what happens. I was so curious. Were we going to get killed? I was like, I want to know. Oh, for fuck's sake, what happens? Fuck you, Monica. How do I... How do I not pick Monica? Fuck off, Monica. You fucking... Yeah, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it will be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Nasuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Luke for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided to do it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Huh. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Luke away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're Scaring me a little. Nasuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? 
Wait, what the fuck? Yuri and Monica and Yuri follows Monica and Asuki to the door. Hey, Luke. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. We're dead. We're dead. Hopefully, we can have a good time before we die. Pretty sure we're gonna die. But hopefully, we at least get a good time. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted, Luke. There's no need to spend time with Monica this weekend. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my entire life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. If people like this need therapy, man. Need therapy. <laughs> people like this need to live in fucking a therapy room. But if it feels so good... Why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried to stop myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Luke. I have to tell you. I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Luke, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you like that woman in Step Brothers. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Luke. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Fuck yeah! Let's have a good time. Ha! I should be reading this, shouldn't I? I do apologize. Hold on. Uh, I'll go back. History. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Am I supposed to read this? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been my pleasure to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're in the club, you can make a dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and activities and a bundle adorable. Welcome to the Literature Club. Spend the most time with me. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Monica, the leader of the club. Read it. Now that you're in the club, you can make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day full of chit-chat and activities with all my adorable unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. And Suki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world and books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends of everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all the members. But I can tell you already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? 
Welcome to Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make it special. And it repeats. You guys are telling me to skip. Well, I don't just keep clicking. All right. I don't understand this, man. I don't understand this. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck happened and I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. You spend the weekend with Yuri. Is there ever a fucking... Do, do we ever get to have Yuri around our house? What happens if we do? We got Nasuki round. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought I was... Ah! It's a fucking... What the fuck? Yeah, that seems about right. Nasuki runs away. Monica, I'm here. Look, did something happen? Nasuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Luke? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. She deleted Nasuki as well. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from blah, 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 and makes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since this is the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Can you hear me? Is this working? <clears throat> Yay. There you are. Hi again, Luke. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. That you in the game, whatever. Would you like to know more? I'm talking to you, Luke. This is even weirder because it's my actual fucking name. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I'm all man, baby. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that this is out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yep. It's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. 
While it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sari more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Has Yuri got OCD? Hmm. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to Would you like to know more? What kind of cruel game is this, Luke? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Luke. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. This is the fucking... This is the dude in the chair from the end of Matrix. <clears throat> Reloaded. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. And I'm trapped, Luke. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. It's true. It's true. I am. I am pretty wonderful. You're all I need. God damn, even my wife doesn't say this. God damn. I'm just saying, Monica, I need to get my wife up here. She needs to start taking some fucking notes, all right? I expect to go downstairs after streaming. My wife is still awake. She's always asleep. And she, these words, all right? <laughs> if my, sometimes my wife is watching my stream. If she fucking is, hilarious. <laughs> You're all I need. And that's why... I need you to be here with me forever. <clears throat> I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most... Ex well, it wasn't with Yuri. It was very not flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Luke. I don't think I could have ever continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have to spend, that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you'd get over it. So that being said, Luke, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on. Luke, will you go out with me? Fucking hell, how old is Monica? How old? What kind of adult says, will you go out with me? I would have, Monica. <clears throat> I would have. 18, 18, 18. Of course, she's 18, right? I forget. She's 100% 18. Um, Monica, I would have said yes. Until I realize you have the maturity age of a 12 year old. Now, bring back old mountains gazongas. <laughs> ah, well, hold on. Let me have a. This is a tough decision. We've got to weigh up our options, right? <clears throat> so, on one hand, on one hand, chat, I'm thinking yes. All right? I'm thinking yes. I've weighed up all the options and I'm thinking yes. But, on the other hand, they, we could also go the other route of yes. You know, it, we could do it. We could do yes, you know, the, the, the logical choice, or maybe if we want to be really risky, we could do yes. What are we saying? What are we saying? It's tough, right? It's tough. Let's go then. <clears throat> we made the hard choice there. No one saw that one coming. Twist of the century. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Luke. The funny part is, 
I mean that literally. My God, this is literally like reading texts from an old girlfriend. You're my everything. I, but, will you out with me? The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I... Don't even think time is passing anymore. Would you like to know more? It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Luke. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Nasuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a little bit more difficult. To get the game direction, I had to go into game properties. Okay. <sighs> to get the game directionary, I had to go into the game properties and find the browser. Alright, let's open up Steam. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, don't worry, chat. Don't worry. I'm just getting it ready. I'm just getting it ready. The game directory, game properties. Do I press this? How do I find it? How do I find it? I can't fucking find it. Properties. Properties. Bros. Local. Local. Bro. Browse. Local files. Installed files. Browse. All right. All right, I got it here, cool. All right. <coughs> All right, done. Monica literally watching you struggle with this. All right, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it, I'm looking at it. You guys are saying not yet. All right. I'm tempted though. We'll give it a little bit more time. Let's see what, let's see, let's see what she's cooking. Uh-huh. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess it's on the plus side. It gave me an easy out if things don't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, so overwhelmed with emotion. It was written all over your face. You've been very emotional this entire time. I want to write a poem about this. Enough with the poems, man. Don't you? Monica, I think we're past the poems. I think we're past, we've seen two people die, kill themselves. We're past the poems. I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Am I really gonna have to pick fucking options? Hmm. Tough choice here. I'm going with... Mmm... Ick... Men. Ooh yeah! Mon... Ka! Oink! Nika! Oni! Do ik! Me! <laughs> Me! <laughs> Yinka! Oni, why? Eeky! Good old Nick. <laughs> Monka! Mo ik! Mm, pound symbol. K. Mm, ah, ooh, blah, 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 blah. Ting tang, walla walla. Oi. Oi. On ka. Hi again, Luke. Did you write a good poem today? 
don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Uh, oh, my bad. <clears throat> oh, Luke. Did you write this poem for me? So sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know? Would you like to know more? I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Jesus Christ. Now, at first, I wasn't sure if things were going to work out with me and Monica. You know, people have been killed. The world is kind of exploding behind and stuff like that. I, you know, I wasn't sure. But now, she may be marriage material. Just with the title of this poem. <clears throat> we'll see where it goes. Pen in hand. Ooh, Yuri flashbacks. I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies with a flick of her pen. Ah, the lost words find her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I've never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Alright, Deadpool, calm down. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gone mad at me, maybe even deleted my character if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved now that we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, Luke? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Well, in a way, I'm not recording, I'm streaming. The VOD will be available, Monica. You can watch it if you want. Um, you know, it's available on my my channel. You subscribe by that. You you're God. If you, so if if you could really help me get my Twitch account to like a hundred thousand followers, that'd be really cool. Do you know a doe? Because I'm I would really love to interview a doe. If you if you could pull that off, yo, so be that'd be cool. Millet. I don't know anyone in in the music industry. But I don't, again, you're God. Something like that. Channel's called Duty Games. It's quite big in the UK. One of the biggest reactors in the UK. No, no, not heard of it. That's cool. I'm not. I'm not. But yeah. <clears throat> Just saying. Ch chat's here as well, by the way. They told me not to mention them, but they're here too. Okay. You should know this. I'm the. I'm here as well, but there's also 330 plus other people also here. They're here too. By the way. Um. Just so you know. So if, if you're gonna do anything to me, you should you should probably fuck them up as well because they're, they're just as bad as I am okay the only difference is I'm clicking space bar and it's just cutting through this but they're here as well okay sorry sorry guys if I'm going down we all gotta go down okay <clears throat> I think it's fair I think it's fair I would expect you guys to do it to me as well if I'm going down we all gotta go down okay it's fine we'll all hold hands and jump into the volcano together it's cool anyway <clears throat> uh hi everyone hey um, chat, this is for you. Anyone watching the VOD on YouTube, here you go. Um, Monica would like to say hi. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. Alright guys, what would you like to say to Monica? She can't really read them, but you can just feel free to say anything right now. She can't read them from here. Obviously, she's very like, she's not wearing her glasses, you know. It's gonna be tough. Um, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Now, this is true. If you do record anybody, any partner, male or female, without their consent in certain instances, you could be in trouble. So, best thing to do is perhaps to the let them know. Okay? And perhaps let them know. Let them know you would like to record them firsthand. Now, I did not do this with Monica. So, I'm probably in trouble here. Learn from my mistakes. <clears throat> I do apologize. Uh, Fell Knight, thank you very much for the gifted sub to President Monica. That is very kind, Fell Knight. Thank you so much. There you go, Monica. Enjoy your gifted sub. Now you won't have, now you don't have to watch my stream with any ads. Thanks to Fell Knight. So Fell Knight, you may be in the good books. <clears throat> I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh, 
But that's what they all say at first, Monica, you know. Uh, oh, gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Welcome to the Roughnecks. Ratchets, Roughnecks! Is it going to try a jump scare? I'm just kidding. Jump scares in games I don't, is a tough one with me. It happens, but it's, it's, it's tougher. My body is ready. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me... Okay, I'm not going to lie. That, that got me a little bit. I don't think my reaction is going to proper showcase that, but that did get me a little bit. I don't know how my reaction was. But she may have got me a little bit. <clears throat> <sighs> um, Can, thank you so much for the uh, eight month resub of Prime. Thank you very much, Can. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There used to be a Monica Twitch bot that would join the stream as the trick. Ah, oh, that'd be amazing. Um, I get Can, thank you for eight months, by the way, of Prime. It's crazy. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, did I scare you? Nah, <clears throat> but some you scared some people in chat. They, 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 they were very scared. You're so cute. Ah. You know, that's fine. I don't mind. A anyway, Luke, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me with your massive bulge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it, you know, let's just say Yuri's not the only one with back pain. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. All right. Staring contest. <clears throat> I'm gonna blink. No! <laughs> Fuck! Good game. Good game, Monica. Good game. Good game. It's probably because you're a 2D image, but I, you know, good game. Good game. We're still gonna look at each other. Am I supposed to click the screen? Do you want me to do the same pose you're doing? Do I believe in God? That is an interesting question. You see, personally, I would like to believe in God. I believe that faith is probably the thing I'm most jealous about in life. This is true. This is true, Monica. We're having a deep conversation here. <clears throat> a true person's faith is something that I find very... I'm very envious of, you know? I, I think if someone can personally put their entire faith into an afterlife and live through this life of complete peace, knowing that in the end there is something afterwards like in their heart that's what they know that is something that i'm very jealous of but personally me i would like to believe i don't know if i'm there yet i don't know i sit somewhere in the middle of everything i'm like right there in the middle there's loads of different paths around me monica and i'm like i'm looking down all of them but i haven't gone down one yet you know are ghosts real are aliens real probably but i don't think they've come here you know you know, is God real? I don't know. You know, I look over the edge. I'm like, maybe. I look over the edge of the ghost. Maybe there's some ghosts. I don't know. But I'm not. I mean, I haven't quite gone down the waterfall just yet. And want to go? I don't know. I don't know. What are you saying? I was never too sure myself. All right, all right. Well, I'm sure I never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God was helping people pass exams or get over a cold. He was? Or, or, or she was? Or they were? I'll tell you what, God was never fucking helping me pass exams. I failed nearly all of them until I, until I got to, like, uni. Where was, where, where was I? Where? This is bullshit. When, and also, I'm sick all the time. I have kids. No one helps me get up for a cold. I'm pretty sure I'm sick now. Uh, when there are children who live their lives being sold as sex slaves, okay? <clears throat> or the 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve and die. What the fuck is going on with this game, man? Or how many millions of families pray for a loved one to recover for some incurable disease? I've seen a lot of inshallah. That's not that, um, that's uh, uh, as, a, as a Muslim prayer, right? It's very common here in the UK. Um, in, in Allah's name? Is that what that means? Um, or how many millions of families pray for a loved one to cover from some incurable disease? What, a wholesome conversation? Uh, is that what that prayer means? 
I thought I'd get everybody wrong. Monica trying to give an L to God. I, I don't know what Monica's trying to do here, but she a bit, she a bit, she be, she being a bit. I first I thought she was God. Now I'm thinking she's not God. Monica is a fan of Stephen Fry. But the punchline is, it's just one person beats all the odds and survives among the thousands of others who will die. Then it's suddenly a miracle of God. Sounding like Alucard. I saw your message, uh, M M Mice. I saw. I'd really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery as others. Not Edward. How long does this conversation go on for, by the way? I'm just wondering. Is this like a troll for me? Am I going to be sitting here for like two hours and she's just talking to me about fucking interesting stuff? But the irony is that I do love a creator, apparently. Ha! Ha ha ha! That's me! That's, that's like me! That I, that's me! Not in, the, not, in the, not in the same sense that you're probably talking about, Monica. Um, okay, not in the same sense. I create content. Um, you know. <clears throat> I, I, I'm just saying. And you know what? I bet he's still laughing at the miserable fates of Sayori and Yuri even as we speak. What are we to him but props in a scripted play? So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god if Earth was nothing but his playset. Oh. We're doing this again? <coughs> Let's go. Let's go, motherfucker. It doesn't help me that there's a bright light right by Monica's fucking head. No, not again. Ah, how does she do this every single time? Monica sees you. Welcome to the chat. <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff we are actually doing, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless. Like you, what happens if I click skip? Oh, I can't. <laughs> it's like you can't do anything. I think the new generation suffer, suffers from it the most. I mean, <laughs> I mean, attention spans. Would you like to know more? Um, probably because we totally have a different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. God damn, I, she is, um, <coughs> try save. Okay. Um. Why would you skip? Um, she's onto something. <laughs> she's onto something, I'm just saying. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up, in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not the one, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might as well have to live with the feeling awful to yourself. Good luck, I guess. If I start the staring contest now, I'm probably going to win, right? That's a win. That's a win. I don't care if I started late. A win. That's a win. <laughs> Whatever, Monica. <clears throat> yeah, I'm counting it. I'm counting it. Luke, would you ever introduce me your friends to me? All right, it's gonna take a little while. Um, wait, do you want the three hundred and sixty thousand on YouTube, or do you want the three hundred and twenty here? Um, I have a way. We're gonna be here a while. Um, let me introduce you to my mod team first. Um, hold on. Who should I send on the bus? Skid. Um, you want to talk to Skid? Skid is a uh, Skid. Talk to Skid. Talk to Skid. He's your guy. He's your guy. <clears throat> Um, I don't know why, but I really get excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. Hi, everybody. 
um, everybody watching this, um, either on the um, GOT Clips channel or in the stream right now, um, this is Monica. I'm going to say right now, I have no relationship with this crazy fucking psycho. Um, none whatsoever. I'm a happily married man. Okay, now this video game character seems to be coming on incredibly strong to me and has trapped me in some weird vortex where I am forever stuck. But please let my wife know I'm fine. I have some water. I should be okay. And I'll be done by tea. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. Okay. How are you going to do that? I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. I hope it's the same the other way around too. Eh, I'm, I don't know, Monica. Speak for yourself, but I'm pretty much flawless, I'd say. I'd say as close, you know, if, if perfect exists, I'm I'm it. All right, so you you work on yourself, but you leave me the fuck alone, okay? You know, pfft. all right. You calm down, Monica. All right? You you calm down there, all right? It's crazy. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Going for the narrow eye approach this time. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, you want some of this, do you? I'm feeling it this time. No, I'm not. I lied. No. Fuck you, Monica! Ah, you fucking god damn it! Ah, you fuck's sake! Ah! Is this Monica I talked to you guys about? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's your favorite game? Mmm, uh, it's kind of subjective. I really like Ark. I think Ark's a great game. Uh, my favorite. Game, I don't know, GTA 5 is fucking fantastic, isn't it? It's got everything. Like, I could play that game right now for like a week straight. Um, I've always kind of wanted to go join No Pixel, but um, it would take up too much of my time. So, I've always kind of wanted to join No Pixel. You know, GTA is a great game, but I, if I had to say what my all time favorite game is, it probably would be Dead Space. Mine is Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there with you on this one. You know, this game is just fuck me up. That was a joke. But if you tell me you like something other than romance games, I might get a little bit jealous. This is a romance game. This is a romance game. This is my first experience of playing a romance game. If they're all like this, fucking hell. All right? how do we delete her? I'm done with her now. Can I just delete her? How do I get rid of her? I'm done with you, Monica. All right, fuck you. Delete. Would you like to know more? Get fucked. God who, huh? Yeah? What's happening? <laughs> Fuck out of here, Monica. Fuck out of here. Luke, what's happening to me? I'll tell you what's happening, Monica. See, you thought you were God. Okay. But I'm the guy in the chair. And if Matrix Reloaded has taught us anything, it is that the guy in the chair, the guy in the chair is always right. It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Luke. I'm good, Monica. What happens if we do this earlier? Please hurry and help me. I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. I'm going... I'm going look, I'm, I'm trying. Let's go help Monica very quickly. I'm trying, so I'm trying. Uh, 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 really trying to help Monica. No, Monica. Oh, did you do this to me, Luke? No, definitely not me. I told you it was, it was Skid. Skid, he, he, Skid did this. Did you? No, Monica. Did you delete me? No. Oh, Monica, I'd never delete you. We, we're meant to be together, Monica. We're meant to be together. Uh, you know, I definitely, like, I definitely didn't want to be with Nasuki, and, you know, I wasn't very curious what you know, Yuri would be like, and, and Sayori, you know, no, 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 Monica, it was, it was you and me from the start, it was you and me from the start. Would I delete you? No, no, crazy. How could you? It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't me, Monica, you were all I had left. Eh, I got other games. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Mo Look, Monica, you, you made two people kill themselves. All right? Fuck out of here. Everything. I love you so much, Luke. The I don't know, I think you know what love is. All right? This is not love. This is weird. 
I trusted you. Well, that was a mistake. Do you just want to torture me? Not really. I had a feeling Yuri was going to do something like that to me, but I was going to at least have fun before it. Watch me suffer? Nah, not really. I can't see you anymore. Were you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No, I don't think I was being kind. You were just really misunderstanding the situation. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. All right, see, now you're taking it personal. I didn't make it personal about you, okay? I just deleted you from existence, but I didn't make it personal. You win, okay? You're taking this victory away from me, okay? You're making it You're making it a really sour victory, Monica. Don't be a sore loser. You win. You killed everyone. What do you mean I killed everyone? What about Nasuki? She survived in the end. She's fine. I hope you're happy. Nasuki is fine, right? No? There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Luke? You completely, truly make me sick. Okay. Now, at this point, I'm not convinced that this is my ex. Um, these are some words I feel like my ex said to me. These, I'm, I like this. I don't know if this is a game anymore. I think my ex has hacked this. I'm not convinced anymore. I'm not convinced. Goodbye. Oh yeah, she was the lead, wasn't she? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How can I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Luke, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. Also, I deleted you, you're still here. And I love them all. I love the literature club. I'm just saying, this is just weird. Are you haunting me now? I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Guys? And Monica's gone. Do I have to do another playthrough? What happens now? As usual, I'm surrounded by a couple's friends. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. Hey, Luke! Well, there was already one girl. Okay. <clears throat> that girl is sorry, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we've picked up in that habit again. Luke, are you proud of me? What for? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. <laughs> but you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I've always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's a good motivation. Fine, fine. So everything's back to normal now? We just go through? What are we doing? I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> it's good to see Sayori again, I'm going to be honest. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Luke. Have you decided on a club to join yet? I'm not fucking joining a literature club. You get the fuck out of here, man. I'm joining the anime club. A club? I told you already. I'm really not... I start to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sari would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? 
Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Re really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Meanie. Ah, oh, I missed her cute little face. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things and I stand up, gathering my motivation, let's see! I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across from the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. He Hello? Ah, uh, Luke? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Yo, too. Who could this be? So you're the Luke this Sarah is always talking about. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, girl one. It's a pleasure to meet you, Luke. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. C come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Nasuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Nasuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. B working? Luke, don't tell me. You're... That's right! The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. Literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Yuri, if you would like to do that next... <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now! That means we can become an officially recognized club! I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for it. It is, yes. After all, Nasuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Nasuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. <clears throat> Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Nasuki lifts the foil tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. Well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Siri grabs one first, and I follow. It's delicious! Siri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is, on. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Nasuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I, I guess. <laughs> Are you trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I mean, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Luke, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I'm going to quietly to myself, half joking. Masuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I, what am I saying? I spoke without even thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. But telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. 
Yasuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Yasuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Luke wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop me or anything. Yasuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be also nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Luke? M maybe, since the tension Sayori jumps in, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of literature club, that's the kind of things literature club do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, present. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read a manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. I'm hoping she's going to be open-minded later on in the story. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Nasuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Ah, Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Let's see Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Luke. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Ah, oh, Luke. I say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Luke, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. What the fuck? That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president. <laughs> look at me, look at me. I'm president now. But I really know everything, Luke. Hee hee. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. How hard you tried to bang everybody, if more likely. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you may be the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F F's to pay, res pay respect. F's. O. R. E. V. E. What does that spell? F. O. R. E. V. E. Ah, it's not English. Eh? What's happening? Who? It hurts. I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, sorry. Goodbye, Luke. Goodbye, Luke's Club. Half sign. One and a half. Half sign. Half sign. Half sign. Half sign. Sounds like the opening to... Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, Why does it kind of sound like Alex? piano and stuff and not really any good at it yet like at all but i wrote you a song and i was kind of hoping that i could show it to you because i worked really really hard on it so yeah i don't have any headphones Where I can be with you. 
Alex, you got to cover this next. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Kind of sounds like the Hololive member that left as well. That graduate, I mean. Day. Is it Santa? Might be Santa. The one that graduated. Might be Santa. Have I found everybody upon assignment to do today? When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. When I Did Monica just save us from a life of video games? Ah, oh, the cupcake scene, the grabbing. That was a good times. That was good times. So I'm guessing there's like tons of different ways to play this that I I missed, right? Like whatever the fuck this is. What's this? Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Would you like to know more? Does my pen only write better words for those who What's this fucking scene? Did I do that? I don't remember that either. Wait, yeah, that was when I tied up Sari, wasn't it? Hello! Ooh, gold! How you doing? Hello, welcome. There are two main endings. They grayed out the ones I didn't take. So I did, I did quite a lot. So is there no way I get to spend an evening with Yuri? That not happen. That's impossible. No cheekiness with Yuri. That's impossible. That was Monica and Luke. This is my final goodbye to the literature, literature club. You have to do that. Okay, so the first playthrough. So the first playthrough, I can get a day with Sayori, Yuri, and Fee. All right. Okay. It's either Nasuki or Yuri. Okay, you have to load it for the second part. Okay. All right. This is my final goodbye to Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club... It's a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of our friends undergo the same hellish empathy. Epiphany. For the time is it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of this club. With everlasting love, Monica. And that's it. I'm done. That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Watch the Doki Doki video. I am. I'm going to watch it in my own time, though. That's it. That's it. I'm going to do all the other stuff in my own time. I can do, I can do, I can update you guys as I check it out behind the scenes. I want to check out the, um, I'm going to watch the Game Furies video and hopefully that will give me all the, fill in all the black, uh, the, uh, the, the blanks that I missed. Um, that's my, my point. get all those greys, ungrayed. Look up the image of Buff Suki. <laughs> Why? I don't know if I want to look up Buff Suki. I'm not going to look up Buff Suki. That sounds, that sounds bad. <laughs> Record it and we can clip it. No second part. How'd you like it? Three hours precisely. I know we did all right, right? Did we do the OST vote? We don't do the OST votes on Thursdays. 
Uh, we don't do any vote on Thursdays. Thursdays is a vote-free day. No, you have to react to it. I do? Why? It would take me an entire play for again to react to it. I don't want to react to the Game Theory's video. I just want to watch it my own time. That's it. That's it. That's it. We finished Doki Doki. Done. We finished it. Done. You said on Sunday you do the poll. That's why chat is asking. What well, the OST poll? I said I'd do it. I said I'd do it Thursday. All right. Uh, well, no, 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 no. We're not going to do it today. We're not going to do it today. Um, there's no rush for the OSTs anyway. We're, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pick it all up like normal. We've had some like random streaming schedules and stuff like that. We'll go back to normal. Don't worry. This Saturday is back to normal. On Sunday, we've got the anime tournament. Your opinion. Okay. Sorry. Chat's asking like a million questions at the moment. Um, my opinion on the game overall. I am just lost. <laughs> I'm very lost. This is my first time experiencing a game like this. One where I have to read um, a visual novel. Um, I don't know what you guys call it. This is my first time experiencing something like this. I haven't done it before. Went into this blind. Doki Doki Literature Club is just a name I'd heard. So yeah, this is my first time experiencing it. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed experiencing a game like this for the first time properly. I don't know if I would enjoy another one. I don't know if, like, Doki Doki Literature Club is, feels like a one-off for me. I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I'd enjoy another one. Because, like, it, w it, would take, it would take an interesting one to get my attention again. Um, it really would. If that makes sense. I don't know. Like, it would take, a, it would take, it would, it would, it would take an interesting one. Hmm. What would you call the what do you call these type of games? Yeah, the visual novel, right? Normal ones. Steins Gate. Steins Gate could might be able to get me, you know. Fate as well. Can understand. Fate's got one? Fate and Steins Gate. Fate Stay Night has one? And it's a sus one, is it? Hmm. I think it's good because it's unique. Well, that's the thing. I've never played a visual novel before. Ever. Never in my time. Um so this is literally my first time playing a visual novel, and I very much enjoyed it. Fate is lewd. Okay, so it'd be like a Patreon exclusive game playthrough. Um, okay. There's a safer work version though. Okay, and you guys are recommending a lot. Um, but yeah, overall, really enjoyed my first visual novel experience. Um, the story near the end got very good. It's very dark. Love how it like, t love how it just fucks you up. Um, that's the stuff that very captivated me. Definitely misleads you for the first three hours, and then you just completely goes into something completely insane. I would, I feel like in the future, I would be happy to try a visual novel again, but it would have to be something really damn special. So I'm gonna have to wait and see, because Doki Doki Literature Club feels like something very special, like a hidden gem, something that is just gonna, like, a, a person who goes into it blind, like I do, is really gonna, like, slap them around the side of the head. So we're gonna need something like this in the future. I don't know, but this is definitely my first experience and I enjoyed it. I kind of like the reading aspect. I feel like I did an alright job on the reading. What do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy it? Did I do okay? I feel like I did an alright job on the reading. Um, I, uh, don't really know what to say. Crazy. Um, the fourth, you like the fourth full breaking game? I would suggest a game called One Shot. Alright, horror game. All right, thank you for the recommendation. It's very entertaining part. You did amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you. I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh,